ChatGPT is a brand new super intelligent AI that can literally do things for you. I'm going to be asking it to create scripts for us in Roblox today. Let's get started by asking it to create a simple script and then we're going to move on to a more advanced script. We're also going to be testing these scripts out in game so be sure to watch till the end of the video. Let's get started by asking ChatGPT to create a script that kicks me when I jump. So I'm going to write, write a Roblox script that kicks me from the game when I jump. Let's go ahead and see what the AI can do. It's currently thinking and in a few seconds it's going to write the script for us. As you guys can see, the AI is literally writing the script for us. I'm not typing anything. All I have to do is ask it in English, and it's going to give me the answer in code. As you can see, it's waiting for the humanoid to jump, and it's going to kick the player. I didn't ask it to say this right here, but it said it. And that's because it is literally artificial intelligence. That's right, guys. This code is being written by a robot, not a human. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this code by pressing copy and taking it to Roblox Studio. Now that we're in Roblox Studio, I'm going to go ahead and create the script. But under starter player and in starter character scripts, I'm going to create a local script and paste in the code. Now that the code is in, I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Now that we're in the game, I'm going to go ahead and jump. As you can see, as soon as I jumped, I was kicked, and it says, you have been kicked for jumping. This was literally written by the AI. Now I'm going to go ahead and ask it to write a more advanced script. The next thing we're doing is asking the AI to write a script where the player loses health when they jump, and when they die, they get kicked. Now there is a small mistake in this script, but that's because I didn't specify enough detail here. Let's go ahead and copy the code and edit the script just a little bit. Now that the script is in Roblox Studio, let me explain what happened. I didn't specify if the health was going to be in the humanoid, in the player or it's just going to be a health variable. So what it did is it literally created a health variable. To fix this, all we have to do is specify exactly what we want. To do this, what I'm going to be doing is referencing the humanoid.health instead of the player's health variable in the script. If you don't know what that means, basically now we're looking at the player's health instead of this random number in the script. I'm just going to delete that random number. Now that it's done, let's go ahead and hit play. Now that we're in the game, let's go ahead and jump. As you can see, when I jump, I lose a little bit of health. Now it is a little bit more than 10 and that's because it's taking away more health than 10 while we're mid-air. I'm going to go ahead and die and let's see what happens. As you can see, when I die, I get kicked. That means the AI did pass and it worked, although there was a small mistake. However, that could have just been on my part not providing enough detail. Nevertheless, this AI is amazing and it's going to save you a lot of time. Not just you guys, but also software developers in real life. So if this video did help you out and you learned something new about software developing and scripting in general, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to let me know that you did learn something. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.